Welcome to episode 211 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'm coming at you from Waco, Texas, where it's raining 35 degrees, but I want to talk about how to never, ever, ever underestimate the power of brand connection. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So my family is a big fan. Uh, big fans of Fixer Upper, Chip and Joanna Gaines, who built uh, really an empire. They started their business in 2003, just like I did mine. They scaled a little bit more than I did. But what I did, I had a speaking engagement in Dallas, and I was like, I'm bringing the whole family, mother-in-law included, and we're going to visit Waco, Texas, to see this empire that they've built, the silos. We actually stayed in one of Chip and Joanna Gaines' houses, and now we've been walking around the silos, and it's rainy, and this place is still packed. There's a three-hour wait at their restaurant. Why? because of brand connection. If you're not familiar, um, it's the Discovery Show, uh, Fixer Upper, it all started, I don't know, if was it Discovery? Maybe it was. They started as Fixer Upper and they just, a couple from Waco, Texas, who renovated some houses and little by little, they gained popularity by connecting with families around the principle of being home and around the principle of home and valuing home life and valuing probably like the slower things in life, which is very countercultural to what most of our lives look like today. We're 100 miles an hour all the time. We're always on because of our devices. We're pulled in 100 different directions. Our kids play 13 different sports per day. And Chip and Joanna Gaines said, let's slow that down. And they were just really authentic to who they are as people. They were really authentic in what they believe as a family. And little by little, people got connected with them. They got connected on the basis of fixing houses and decorations and then on home life. And now there's a whole style, a whole movement really across the country where the gains have really affected the way people think about decoration they think about life they think about slow living and the the thing that to me has been most impressive about all of this is the fact that you have here people really joining together from all over the country probably many countries to come to Waco Texas and stand in the rain to touch the stone if you will and now when I talk about brand connection, I know it's easy to say, well, they have a lot going on. I know it's a lot easy to say, well, look at the empire they've built. But they really did it an episode at a time. They really did it by being authentic to themselves. And so now we come and you pay a lot of money to buy stuff here at the silos. You pay money to stay in their houses. You actually feel a level of connection with Chip and Joanna. Although I don't know them. You don't know them, right? But there's a feeling that when you're here, you're actually becoming a little bit of a part of the story, making this podcast a little bit a part of the story. And so when we talk about brand connection, when I talk about brand connection, I talk about the feeling that you get when you see a name, visit a space, then you, you do a, a little something, you buy a product, it has nothing to do with the quality of the product, it has nothing to do with the logo or the tagline, Great, granted the aesthetic is beautiful around here, but it has to do with how we feel when we connect with Chip and Joanna, the feeling that they produce, which is a feeling of that slow life. They have a, a slogan in their restaurant that says, the good old days are still yet to come. And they plant a little bit of that hope in my heart and probably the hearts of the people that are walking all around now, buying things from the shop, eating the food, watching the TV show. And so whatever it is that you're doing today, whether you're building a personal brand, whether you're an auto dealer that's trying to connect with your dealership, whether you have a product, whether you're trying to get volunteers because you have a not-for-profit, Whatever you're doing today, know that brand is built in the little increments over time. It's not built all at once. It's built in the little inch at a time, the post at a time, the leaving a comment to someone who gave a comment to you, to going out in social media and making sure that you're investing in somebody, that you're speaking into them the things that are your beliefs. Because little by little by little, before you know it, not right, I'm not saying before you know it, you have this because this is a really rare thing. But... There's a little corner of the world, little corner of the universe that you can impact in a great way with your brand impression. This is Waco, Texas. I'm not going to lie. The people in Waco are really nice. The people in Waco, there are a whole lot of people that don't look and feel like this silo. If you flip the camera on, flip the camera on. Just show what's on the other side of this. There's a building that they're redoing, but go on the other side, right? It's a lot of buildings that look uh, kind of run down, right? Waco has seen some tough times. Actually, if you remember, the thing that Waco was known most for prior to the silos was David Koresh and the cult, which I was growing up, that's what I knew Waco as. And so Chip and Joanna, through brand connection, through being consistent over time, right? 2003, it's almost been 20 years since they started. They were able to place a feeling in people's hearts, in people's 
guts, right? The gut feeling that people have when they connect with them that make them willing to come here and visit Waco. Frankly, they're, they're kind of surprised that it's gone this far and this is where they've gotten, but they've gotten here. And you can move in this direction too. It's not about doing it all at once, right? I'm 20 years in, started my company the same year they did. Guess what? I haven't scaled like this, but guess what? Little by little, I want to implant that feeling in other people's lives, feeling of hope, feelings that you can actually do this in the right way and you don't have to step on people to, to move forward in business and in life. And I want to get a little bit more of that mindset in your heart. Thank you for spending some time with me today in the rain in Waco, Texas in 35 degrees. I'm glad I could bring here, you here with me. But remember, never underestimate the power of brand connection. I'll see you next week. We came to fight.